Hello and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim and my wife and three kids, we live in South Carolina and we love animals and story time. And parents, we also understand the battle of screen time. And so these audio stories have been phenomenal in decreasing our screen time at home. Well, my friends, are you guys ready to learn about the Bob White Quail? (gasps) Wait, what is that? Well, me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day in the field and Cruz and Vienna were very excited to move into this new neighborhood with other bobwhite quails. Have you ever seen a bobwhite quail? They are very pretty birds. They come in different colors. Some of them have maybe a black and white head and a brown body or maybe tan all over with speckles. They come in all different beautiful colors and they make a very cool sound. It's actually where their name comes from. Bob White Quail. They are a kind of quail, but they make a very unique sound. It sounds like this. Bob White. Bob White. Can you make that sound? Say Bob White. (laughs) Yeah, you sound like a Bob White Quail. Well, Cruz and Vienna, they were going to be new parents. They just moved into a neighborhood. And Bob White Quails, they they actually don't call them neighborhoods. They call them coveys. And a covey is where a whole bunch of bobwhite quails, they live in the same place together. I think it helps keep them safer because they like being social and they also like to look out for each other. Hey, Vienna, what do you think of this spot over here? Said Cruz. Vienna hopped over and looked down closely. You don't think there's any fire ants around here, do you? She said. Well, uh, look around. I think... This must be a safe place because there's a lot of other Bob Whites. What do you, so what do you think of this spot? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that feels great. Can we keep looking a little bit more? Absolutely, said Cruz. They wanted to find the perfect spot. You see, Bob White quails, they don't make a nest that you might think of most birds do. They don't put them in trees. They actually put their nest on the ground by digging kind of a little hole. It's about two inches deep and six inches around. And Vienna was very right. You see, fire ants, that is one of the bobwhite quail's greatest fears and enemies. Those ants, they love to eat the bobwhite quail's eggs, which that would not be good. I don't really like fire ants either because when they bite, ouch! Oof, we have fire ants in our backyard and we always have to look out where we're walking to make sure that we don't make them angry. Because when they get angry, they come biting. Ooh, how about over here? Said Cruz. That looks beautiful and perfect. Yes, that is the spot, said Vienna. As the two of them started digging, they were so happy to have found a spot for their nest because they were starting to run out of time. Since they put their nest on the ground, It's hard to build that nest when it's raining, and it had been raining a lot this season. Hey, new neighbors, shouted Vienna to their new Bob White neighbor friends. Oh, hello. We're the Johnsons. What's your names? My name is Vienna, and this is Cruz. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, we're so good to find one of the last really good spots in the covey. Because the eggs are almost ready to come, if you know what I mean, laughed Vienna. Oh, I do. I'm right there with you. I think we're having a party tonight to celebrate all the nests being done and ready to lay our eggs, said Mrs. Johnson. (gasps) A party, said Vienna. Cruz, doesn't that sound amazing? It does, but we definitely, we just need to finish the nest before then. All right, well, let's work extra hard. Well, over the next few hours, Cruz and Vienna and their new friends, the Johnsons, worked on their nest. I know this is our first time doing this, said Vienna, but still, the ground just doesn't feel quite right. I don't know what it is, but I just can't shake that this dirt feels not right. I'm sure it will be okay, said Cruz. You see, we don't have a lot of time this season because of all the rain, so we just got to be thankful that we found a great spot. Okay, said Vienna. 
After they finished their nest, they met up with all their other quail friends at the party. They were having a big special covey party in the neighborhood to celebrate all the wonderful nests that had been made and to be excited for the eggs that were about to come. But then, all of a sudden, something terrible happens. Bob White! Bob White! Bob White! (gasps) What's going on? Someone is screaming the alarm! shouted Vienna. As they all looked around, they didn't know where the cry was coming from. But then they heard the dreaded words. Fire ants! The cry for fire ants came from one of the Bob White quails on the other side of the covey. Instantly, the entire neighborhood was covered in fire ants. Oh no! Cruz and Vienna and all their friends were in an instant panic. The Bob White quails had picked the wrong place to put their nests. They have to get out of there fast before they start getting bitten. Vienna! Vienna! shouted Cruz. I'm over here said Vienna. Are you okay? said Cruz. Yes, I'm fine, but we gotta get out of here fast. The fire ants are swarming everywhere. Ugh, all our hard work is ruined. I knew something didn't seem right. I'm so sorry, Vienna, said Cruz. I should have listened to you. It's okay. I know we are running out of time, but now what in the world are we going to do? said Vienna. I don't know yet, but Don't worry, we are going to figure it out together. But for now, we got to get out of here and find safety. Let's go! Cruz and Vienna both took off for the hills. They had to find safety away from all these biting fire ants. Oh no! Cruz and Vienna are running out of time. Are they going to be able to fix their nest or make a new one in time before the eggs come? I hope so. And we'll have to find out on the next chapter of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. All right, let's practice our Bob White quail sounds. Do you remember how to do it? Yeah, it's Bob White, Bob White, Bob White. All right, uh, question time. Do you remember where does a Bob White quail make their nest? Do they make it high up in a tree or on the ground? Yes, great job. They make their nest on the ground after digging a little bit of a hole, two inches deep and six inches wide. Well, my friends, we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. <laughs>